Hello and welcome to another Talk War Gaming unboxing and in this video I'm back to looking at another Vitrix set of miniatures and these are the new French Napoleonic Fort Artillery 1804-1812 and in the set you get 28mm uh, hard plastic miniatures, you get 15 crew and 3 gun models. Uh, they all come in the set, this kind of bag here and at the top, just on the back, uh, we have kind of some uh, some background on the weapons themselves. So let's open up this bag and take a look at the contents inside. So here we have the contents of the foot artillery kit and this is first of all the instructions. Now all of the components are labelled with a uh, letter and a number and this kind of denotes what they are and then you, this whole sheet kind of says which body, which parts go with which body so you can see the coattails ET1 fits with the body BE1. So it's all very self-explanatory, straightforward there. Flipping it over we actually have uh, like a, a diagram on how to assemble the gun carriage. So we've got um, the 8 pounder gun there, you can also uh, assemble the 12 pounder gun at the bottom there as well. So we actually get two types of sprues in this set and I'll take a close look at these in a second. So we actually have the, the gun uh, sprue there which gives you 8 and 12 pounder variants and we also get a um, infantry sprue as well. Now you have three of these and three of these in the set. So let's zoom in and take a close look at these components. So here we have the sprue for the actual artillery piece and as you can see it's got um, quite simple in its design. You've got obviously two wheels, uh, the main kind of body of the gun is actually consists of two parts and we also get the, the two barrels which are actually one piece. Um, we've got like, the muzzles at the front just go at the top. We also get an ammo box as well there. Um, it's actually creates, it's quite nice as it allows you to create uh, both weapon variants so there's actually enough so you can quite easily swap between the two depending on which one you want to field. So moving on to the infantry sprue. So as I mentioned before you get quite a lot of components on this set here. So we've got the, the five infantry. Now these are mostly just kind of the legs and the body are already built for you, don't have to worry about the legs apart from the officer over here which is uh, you have to glue the separate leg on. So these are actually the coattails. Now these actually work really well. Uh, as you can see here we've got like gaps um, that can be associated with them so it just fits over the top and actually fits quite well which we'll uh, look at in a moment. Now you also get plenty of head options on this kit as well. So not only do we get the, the bicorn hats over here, we also get some uh, some shakos at the top here. Now these are the uncovered shakos and we also get the bear skins and also some uh, covered shakos right at the bottom just down here as well. So there's plenty of um, arm options as well. There's actually two main uh, types. So all of the actual components on the left here um, are for line foot artillery and these just have the shoulder flaps and all the components on the right here are um, feature the fringed epaulettes and are for the Imperial uh, Guard and Gunners First Class. So you actually get quite a nice mix of components depending on what you want to build. So uh, now that we've actually seen the components, let's uh, get some of these miniatures assembled and take a look at the finished product. So here we have one of the assembled pieces of artillery along with three crew members. Uh, so as you can see here, I've got a crew member who's positioned so that he looks like he's uh, pushing the wheels there. I've also got a guy over here who's uh, ready to clean out the barrel after it's been fired. Uh, the guy just on the right here is actually the officer, as it denotes by his um, rather more ornate looking hat. Now um, in terms of assembly, these guys were actually very, very simple to put together. As I mentioned before, the instructions are nicely laid out so you can quite easily indicate, find out which part goes on which body and also uh, kind of which combination of miniatures you want to create. Um, as I also mentioned when I looked at the gun carriage, it comes with the, the 12 pounder variants and also the 8 pounder variants of the guns and they actually can sit loose so you can swap them out quite easily. So that's the 12 pounder and there we go, very simply straight to an 8 pounder. So the detailing itself is actually very nice. Uh, these have actually been digitally sculpted as well. And you can kind of, you can, it does show how uh, the level of detail kind of really shines through when uh, you actually see these digitally created miniatures. So here we have um, the actual artillery, uh, the ca carriage, I suppose, um, and very nicely. You've got the chain there as well. You've got all these individual bolts just picked out, and also around the the wheels as well. So very nicely detailed indeed. Uh, the miniatures actually quite nice as well. So the human scales are, it's actually a true scale as opposed to uh, being heroic scale. And it's got very nice detailing if you look there, the buttons have been uh, uh, picked out on the jackets and some nice uh, creases in the trousers as well. So overall a very nice kit. So this kit is priced at around $24.95 which makes it an excellent alternative to the metal miniatures which are currently on the market. Um, plastic's a lot easier to work with and it also affords a, a much greater level of detail uh, with these kind of nicely sculpted miniatures as well. You also get all that kind of option of uh, customising the different position poses and equipment that each of these guys are carrying. So I'll pop a link to the Vitrix web store in my uh, description below so you can take a look at these uh, kits yourself. And until next time, thanks for watching and goodbye.